Breakfast on the Riviera at Topolino Tourist with character. Animal Kingdom theme park and then a signature dinner at Tiffin's tonight. I'm Dan and you're watching WDWAO. So today we're going to start the day with breakfast at the Topolino Terrace up on the 10th floor of the Riviera. That's a character dining experience where you get um, Mickey, Minnie, Donald and Daisy in their little art outfits. One I've wanted to do for such a long time, I'm really excited about it. They've got some sour cream waffles on the menu that I've been craving for quite a few years. So. Um, I think they might be going down as well today. Once we've done that, we've already purchased Genie Plus for today for Animal Kingdom. It was $16 each, I believe. Uh, and we've already got our first Genie Plus booked, which is for Navi River Journey. It's a ride that I'm not too fussed about. It's one that I definitely wouldn't wait in line for, but David really liked it last time. So we've not done it on this trip. So Navi River Journey up first today on the Genie Plus stack. Tonight, we've got dinner at Tiffin's, which is a restaurant I've dined at once before. It's a really nice, underrated signature restaurant. Um, it's got things on the menu that David would absolutely love because he likes more spicy, more kind of Asian, more African influences in his food. So I think he'll really like it there. And then I think we're probably gonna come back, have a bit of a chill out of the hotel, a little bit of an overnight. We're expecting a really hot day today. Animal Kingdom is typically the hottest of the parks anyway. So we might be kind of a little bit hot and sweaty today, as I was yesterday. Um, it was so humid yesterday. I'm very hungry. I know David's very hungry. Come along and join us for breakfast at Topolino. A bit better today. I think my head doesn't feel so hazy and hopefully uh, getting over it again. <laughs> What did you paint, Nikki? Did you paint a picture of Minnie? <laughs> wow! I bet that was fun. And oh, you made a mess. I think Mickey was a girl. Huh? <laughs> I think Mickey was a girl. <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> Darling, what did he do with the painting? Splash. <laughs> do you think Mickey's good at painting? Oh look, it's Daphne. Daisy, you're looking fabulous today. Have you been dancing? I, I, love, I love your little shoes. Oh, ballet. Ballet? Oh, very nice. Oh, wow. Did you like meeting Daisy? Daphne. It's not Daphne. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so here we've got some chocolate chip muffins, some croissants, and some apple crumb cake, she said. It comes with Nutella some butter and then a house made jam we've also got an orange juice each and a pot of coffee to start the day wow that's amazing that's fabulous oh wow are, are you writing there about nikki wow how cool i love your apron <laughs> Can we get a picture of you, please, Donald?
I've got it, I've got it. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let me start again. Really. So we've just finished our breakfast here at Topolino Terrace. This is take two, because Mickey just came up behind me and scared the life out of me whilst I was talking to you. Um, but um, I wanted to... <laughs> it's very distracting. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> it's um, good. Uh, but I've wanted to dine here for a really long time. It's now my favourite character dining experience here at Topolino's Terrace. Um, the food here was really, really great. It's a set price of $49 plus tax, plus gratuity per adult. So it's not a cheap breakfast, but no character dining experience here is going to be cheap, particularly one of this quality. So the waffles I had were made with sour cream. They were super, super light. I've never had a waffle that was so light. It was delicious. They came with roasted apples, raspberries, and orange infused syrup and chantilly cream. It came with a side of sausages and scrambled eggs. Before that, we started with, with a bucket of pastries. We had croissants, really, really lovely um, cinnamon apple muffins, which taste like an apple cake my mum used to make when I was a kid. Uh, and we had a little chocolate chip muffin as well. Uh, we've got coffee and juice all included in that $49. Of course, four characters, we've met all four of them. Uh, Mickey, Minnie, Donald and Daisy, all in their little artsy outfits. And yeah, it's, it's been a really, really great breakfast. Probably, probably the best breakfast of this trip, actually. I've really, really enjoyed it. It's been so, so great. So how would I score this? Uh, in terms of what it is, um, I'm gonna have to go with a nine out of 10, I think. Um, it's just really, really great. There's, uh, it's pricey, it's expensive, um, but it's really great. And the staff here are lovely. Our server, Ashley, is the sweetest. She's just so lovely. She used to work over at Tiffin's. Really, really nice. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, I said that Ashley is just as sweet as I was just saying before Daisy arrived. You can tell the restaurant's very new, it looks new, it feels and smells new. And of course we're yet to go outside and see the view from the top, uh, from the 10th floor. So Top Linear Terrace is the 10th floor of the east block. So you want the east elevators to get up here, 10th floor. We'll go outside shortly and show you um, what the view is like. But yeah, nothing bad to say at all, it's really been been brilliant. Um, I loved it. I had the avocado toast um, which came with it was avocado on ciabatta with rocket tomato, some like boiled and fried baby potatoes which were the, and a little bit of prosciutto so oh it was really good. Is it a poached egg as well? On a poached egg. No I liked it. I don't think it was as good as Tusker House breakfast. Oh really? No, in terms of food, it was better. Right. In terms of how cute the characters look in their outfit. <laughs> in terms of a score, it's going to be an 8 out of 10 for me today. Yeah, there's the Yacht on Beach Club. It's the Swan and Dolphin. The Yacht on Beach Club we can see across there. And over there we can see the Land Pavilion and um, the Imagination Pavilion with Figment. This is the Leisure Pool down here. The one that we like. And over here you can see the reflection of the skyliner on the lake which is really nice it's a really beautiful day today and just kind of top right of the screen you can see the hollywood tower of terror as well and down there is the main pool and you can see just how vast caribbean beach resort is it goes on for like miles so after our failed mission to see the space launch, we are now going to have a couple of hours chilling by the leisure pool here at the Riviera, which is very nice. Uh, and then we're going to head off to Animal Kingdom for the afternoon and dinner there this evening as well. Just tell me in the comments down below, are you a person that prefers a leisure pool or a feature pool when you're at a resort? We definitely prefer the leisure pool. Um, so much nicer just to relax okay after a lovely few hours by the pool uh, and in the pool and in the spa as well we've now just arrived at animal kingdom as you can see we've had a costume change 
Um, <laughs> and a shower as well actually because there's a little bit uh, chlorine from the water, a little bit sweaty from the sun. So we've had a shower, we're all fresh and clean. Well, which was a bit of a waste of time because as soon as you step out the door today, it's... Yeah, it's really hot. It's really hot. It's um, currently 31 degrees. Just walking up to Animal Kingdom now. Um, now, I think I've told you before about um, getting blisters here at Disney. It's one of the things that really does kind of annoy me and it kind of impede my enjoyment of being here. And I've got blisters on both feet today and they're killing me. We've got um, genie stacked. Um, so I told you about stacking genie. It's a little bit harder at Animal Kingdom if you want to stack them for the afternoon because they have so much availability in the morning and so few attractions. So um, I got Kilimanjaro Safari initially for about 12 o'clock, but you go in and you modify it and you keep pushing it back later and later and later. So Kilimanjaro Safari is now about three o'clock for us. Um, I've pushed Navi River Journey back to just before dinner because we're going to be in that area of the part of the Pandora. We've got three, we've got Dinosaur first, then Kilimanjaro Safari, and then we've got Navi River Journey later as I said. Um, and then in just 20 minutes I can make a fourth one. So before, we, before we've even entered the park we've almost got four Genie Pluses already lined up. Crowd levels here appear to be kind of back to what they normally are at this sort of time of year. It was really horrible over that kind of um, Columbus Day weekend. Unbearable, but this is kind of much more manageable. Flame Tree Barbecue over there, one of David's new favourite quick service restaurants. He enjoyed a very nice chicken over there, didn't you, the other day? Really good. And we're heading straight to Dino Land, USA which I don't think is going to be with us for too much longer following the announcements of D23. I think Dino Land USA is about to become extinct and reimagined into some kind of America's land. So um, that could be quite interesting. I didn't even know restaurant to saw us have a lounge. <laughs> So we just went to the restaurant to Saurus Lounge and got ourselves a couple of drinks. I've got the fermented fossil, which is basically a mojito. Looks very, very cool. I can't wait to try this. David went for the old uh, Heineken. Heineken. How's that? It's basically a mojito, <laughs> but I love a mojito, so for me it's great. I'm a little bit tipsy now, I'm not gonna lie to you, but we're now gonna go on Dinosaur. This might make it even more fun than it normally is. If we have too many drinks today, we'll just head back to Magic Kingdom and go on the speedway again. Oh my god, the speedway was so <laughs> it good was when amazing, drunk, wasn't yeah. it? Disney meets Gardener's World. Here he is. Last time we were here, the dinosaur wasn't actually uh, visible. It had like um, big plants all around it. The standby line for dinosaur is currently 55 minutes, believe it or not. I've never seen such a long wait for dinosaur before. Hello, I'm Dr. Marsh, director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old wing. That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. Oh, and one more thing. Access. Those locked coordinates? Access. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? I have only had one drink and I feel completely, completely wasted. I don't know how strong <laughs> that mojito was. <laughs> Honestly, I feel so drunk. I feel that dinosaur is going to be really, really fun today. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. That's it! 
Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Brace yourself! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Mission accomplished. You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! Did you like that? No. <laughs> David, that was your second ride on Dinosaur. What did you think? It's crazy. Did you like it? No. Why? The bag nearly went flying out the car halfway round. I had to like reach down, grab it, try and... Meanwhile, I'm like... That might be the last time we ever get to ride that. That's fine. You I'm happy not, with that? Yeah. Personally, I really love that ride. I know he does it, he's a little misery. But um, I'd be really sad to see Dinosaur. God, I, I can't walk properly. I'm so, I'm so, that one drink, that's one drink. I think because of the Disney Day drinkers, I think he gave me a bit more. Oh my God. Anyway, that ride is um, a classic. I love it. I'm gonna really miss it. I don't want Indiana Jones. I'm not an Indiana Jones fan. I've never even watched an Indiana Jones film. Can you believe it? I know what they're about, but I've never watched them. Um, but yeah, I'll be really sad when that goes. It's a really great ride. So David's just headed off to find a restroom. So I'm gonna grab a couple of minutes to sit down. My feet are really hurting today. Those blisters are absolute buggers when you try to walk around a theme park. Oh my God, even with the moleskin, they're still causing me a little bit of pain. Um, I'm really curious as to what they might do in this theatre in the future. Um, it's a huge space, a huge opportunity, and I'm sure Disney will maximise on that very soon. I'm hoping for an announcement about what this will become. So Expedition Everest has got another high wait time this afternoon. 50 minutes, I think that says. Yeah, 50 minutes. What are we going on now, David? Expedition did you say you might be making a purchase after this ride? Maybe, but I don't think so. Question for you. Jesus. What? What's happened to your hair? All the time, every time. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look the outfit, see? It's quite cute. Purchases were made. So. Despite us just showing you that we were not going to buy anything in there, we both did. David bought that um, little um, hoodie. 
It's kind of a really, really unusual material. How would you describe that material? It's kind of like a wool, but it's not wool. It's kind of thick, isn't it? So he got that. That hoodie is actually uh, for children, uh, but he's actually very small. And that's why it was so cheap. <laughs> and that's why it was so cheap. So um, that was $34.99 um, and we got annual pass discount of $7 off. So that's really good, right? He got a kind of like a really thick, nice Disney Yeti inspired hoodie. Really cheap. So that's good. We like that. Um, and I may have bought my first ever spirit jersey. Taylor's gonna be so proud. <laughs> and I saw this really nice um, kind of turquoisey Yeti spirit jersey that I really liked. And I was a bit like, oh, I like that. And if you watch the vlog series, um, a few days ago in this series, you may have seen me looking at it, but so I bought that. So that was uh, a $79.99 spirit jersey. And I got $16 off. And you'll pass, you know, um, we bought it, as I told you before, we we're doing two trips quite close together. It was cheaper than paying for two lots of park tickets for 14 days and 12 days. It was cheaper. Um, but the money we're saving in terms of food and merchandise is really good as well. So um, I think it was a good idea to buy the annual passes. But yeah, we've made our first um, purchases here at Animal Kingdom. Tomorrow is actually shopping day at Disney Springs. So um, I might make a second purchase of a spirit jersey because there's another one I like mm. for the 100. We're going to try these on when we get back to the resort. I did check with them. We're not coming back to Animal Kingdom. If you buy stuff here, you can return it to the shop at your Disney World Resort hotel shop. Um, so if it doesn't fit or we don't like it when we get back, we can just pop downstairs to La Boutique at La Riviera and we can get a refund there. That's a really good little benefit. Anything you buy in the shops, in the parks, or at Disney Springs, you can return at your hotel if you're staying on site as well. So just bear that in mind. If you're umming and ahhing or not sure something will fit or not fit or look good on you, buy it, take it back, try it on. If you don't like it, pop downstairs to the lobby, to the shop and return it. Anyway, we're gonna go and get a little snack now. We're gonna to go to Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe. We're gonna get a little snack, a drink. That mojito is wearing off, which is good. Um, I kind of feel like I need another one, but I don't need another one, um, not yet. Uh, we've got tiffins later on, I don't want to be silly in there, so it's, it's a nice restaurant. So we're going to go and get some food, and then I think we've got the Kilimanjaro Safari next. Um, so we're going to check that out, and uh, we'll, of course we'll bring you along. We love that safari so much. As David said earlier on, we could probably do the tour, the talking ourselves now. We've done it so many times, and we know where things are, and after World Africa trip yesterday, we're expert level. <laughs> Okay, so we are at Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe, the quick service of Yak and Yeti. Uh, we've got a sangria, which was $14. We've got the sweet and sour tempura shrimp, which comes with rice and sweet and sour dip. And then we've got a safari 22 ounce beer. The beer was $9 and the tempura shrimp was $16.99. So altogether, it was $42.59. Teeth, tits, action, you're on. So we've just been to Yak and Yeti quick service. We've just had the tempura prawns. That, that's all they're called, right? Just tempura Sweet and prawns. sour tempura prawns. Sweet and sour tempura prawns. Yeah, the tempura prawns were nice. They were really good. Um, they come with a side of just plain rice, which I don't think they need to bother with, really. I think they could probably just do away with giving a little basket of tempura prawns might be nice. But anyway, um, we didn't really eat the plain rice. Um, otherwise, it was good, wasn't it? Nice. Beer. Well, how's your beer? Beer's okay. Beer's good. Sangria's good as well. I've got quite a bit left to go before we head down to Kilimanjaro. But yeah, would you recommend this place? It's alright. Oh, I, like, I like Yak and Yeti. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yak and Yeti's good. Okay, so a little bit of uh, deja vu here. We're back at Kilimanjaro Safaris. We have a lightning lane. The standby entrance time at the moment is 50 minutes. So, yeah, good job we've got a lightning lane.
Kilimanjaro Safari and XG pluses for this little beauty over here. David, you ready to get wet? Me and Leanne did all right last time. When yeah. we were on this, we, we sat the right way. Yeah. Well, we ended up the right way. The wait time for this is 50 minutes as well. As you can see, we're just whizzing through using Genie Plus. It's quite a good use of um, $16, though, wasn't it, David? Oh, we've got people in the queue. This is our last ride of today and the last ride at Animal Kingdom on this trip. Navi River Journey. We haven't done this yet this trip, have we? No, we only did it once last trip. Because the wait is always so long for such a kind of rubbish ride. ride. So the wait at the moment for Navi River Journey is currently 65 minutes but the only line I see is for the lightning lane which is a little bit interesting. all of our Animal Kingdom rides done now for this trip. Hollywood Studios was finished yesterday. Animal Kingdom today. We've got a Disney Springs and uh, signature date night dinner tomorrow. We've got Magic Kingdom Sunday and Epcot again on our travel home day on Monday. So this is the last time at Animal Kingdom. We've had quite a good day here though, haven't we? It's always good here, I like it. It's lovely. Uh, we used Genie Plus to good effect. We got in um, Dinosaur. Kilimanjaro Safari, um, Navi River Journey, Expedition Everest, Expedition Everest, and Kali River Rapids. That's five Genie Pluses in four hours. We had a bit of food as well, so that's not bad, is it? Next up tonight, we're going to go to Tiffin's, which is a signature restaurant. We're not super hungry, we might just do apps and desserts and drinks, so we'll see how that goes when we get there. We'll bring you along, we'll show you what that's like, but if I remember from my last time I went there, it was really amazing and I think you're going to love it. Welcome to another episode of Garden as well with David Orford. What do you have over here, David? What is it? What kind of palm is that? I don't know. What's I don't the, know all the What's the Latin name so for it? Oh, come on. You can do better than this. On oh, that big ball there, what's that big ball? That's an artificial Disney insertion, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Amber Ale brewed exclusively for Walt Disney World with sorghum and a special blend of spices including cinnamon and cardamom so it probably just tastes like <laughs> well, I think there's a little bit of cardamom in there and cinnamon Do you like it? Yeah, it's good and I've gone for a cocktail, of course. I've gone for the Lamu Libation, which is Star African Rum, Banana Liquor, Guava Puree with Orange, 
lime and pineapple juice topped with Goslin 151 rum float. That sounds good, right? <laughs> oh, it's gone back for a second. Yeah, that's nice. It's really quite strong though. I'm kind of getting this skipping out of here today, aren't I? That's really, really good. Um, you can't really taste the fruit so much. It's, it's more of an overpowering taste of alcohol. That might be because of the rum float. It might be more fruity. But let me just give it a little stir so it becomes more fruity. I know. Yeah, that's better. I can taste the fruit now. So we're starting with the um, bread service. This is three different breads, and it is priced at sixteen dollars. So I never say this properly, but it's um, I say it as payo de quiche, which is Brazilian cheese bread. We've then got Papa Dom here on the second shelf down, and then this is a, a Thai red curry milk bread. Um, and then we've got a coconut curry sauce, a guava sauce. And in here, this one here is a ginger and pear chutney. It was okay, wasn't it? <laughs> Just okay? Yeah. I like the uh, the curry sauce that came with the bottom one. What was it? it was I don't a, know what it was. It was, a, it was a red Thai curry milk bread. Yeah, yeah. That sauce was nice and the bread that, was nice. The bread was nice. Mm. And the Brazilian cheese bread was nice? Yeah, the Brazilian cheese bread on top was nice. It didn't need to have the little guava thing though. Oh no, I like the little guava sauce, that was oh. good. The, pe the pepper dump? They were fine. Yeah, I mean, they, they could have drained them a bit more before they put them on the thing, but... You know. That just, that just comes with experience for the chef, doesn't it? You know, that's something he'll learn as he goes along. I'm sure he can teach you a few things, little bugger. This is the Gobi Manchurian. We didn't order this originally with our first order, but I've been wanting to try it for a long time. And we were debating whether we should get it or not, or too much food. And then after our appetite, I was like, right, we're going to get one. So I just ordered one. It's $11, Gobi Manchurian. It's like a fried cauliflower in like a chilli kind of sauce with some, um, what Americans would call scallions, what we call spring onions on top. It's really nice, but um, David makes this at home for us, and so I'm used to having Gobi Manchurian. The one David makes has got a real spicy kick to it. This one has not, but it's nice. Hang on, hang on, can we just get this? Are you saying that my one is better than Disney's? That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes, your one, your one is nicer than this. It is not fried, is it? It is fried. Oh, a bit. Do you like it? Is it better than yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> David is so multi, let's look at the we're size gonna, of the head. We're going to link the recipe in the comments below, <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> what is it you've got? You've yeah, got the short. <laughs> Ray short rib. Ray short rib with uh, it's beef with tamarind. And I have got the butter chicken. This looks really nice. Some vegetables. This is chicken here. And the rice is some kind of chickpea rice, which I think is going to be this here, but I'll taste it and um, let you know how I go. Okay, so we've just finished eating at Tiffin's. So obviously you saw us with the bread and the dips and with the gave Manchurian. So we had those as our appetizers. Uh, and then I had the butter chicken. So it was a chicken breast with a bone uh, and it came with a chickpea rice croquette, English peas, young squash and pickled onion and it was, and it was actually delicious um, in every way possible every mouthful that I had was like a kind of symphony in my mouth um, so many flavours, so many spices it had a slight kind of peanut satay taste to it as well which was, which was quite a subtle flavour um, 
But no, it was really good. The sauce was delicious. It was really, really nice. The chicken was perfectly cooked. The peas and spinach were fine. But that little kind of um, chickpea croquette with the rice inside was amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, it's like, um, if you can imagine, the rice has been kind of like put into a ball and then uh, in, it's got kind of some kind of chickpea kind of crust around this edge and it's been fried. Oh my God, it was really great. It's not a cheap place, um, but it's a signature restaurant. It's really nice in here. It's not super busy. It's never, ever super busy. You can always often get a reservation here on the day because it's in a theme park, but the service has been brilliant. We even had the manager come over at one point to check everything was okay, which is a really nice touch that hasn't happened anywhere else during this trip. We had the manager come over and check on us and, and ask how things are. Really appreciate that. It's a really nice little touch. We had really good food tonight, and you can pay that much money and have something really quite terrible. As Dan said, food here was uh, was good. Uh, a couple of nice extra touches as well, like the manager coming around asking if everything's okay. Personally, for me, I much prefer this kind of restaurant. It's more intimate. It's more quiet. There's, you don't walk into a massive canteen full of like. Strollers. Hundreds of people, like... Strollers everywhere. Yeah, 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 exactly. Quiet, you can sit, you can have a conversation, you can relax a little bit. So, for me, it's much more up my kind of thing. A couple of things on the food weren't great. Gobi Manchurian wasn't, like, fried amazingly well or anything. It was really tasty, though. It was tasty. Papadoms were still, like, excess oil on them. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, but in terms of my main with the beef, it was, I didn't have any criticism on that, to be honest. The main was really, really good. Yeah, I think for this one, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for you? That's yes. quite a high scoring for you, isn't it? Yeah, they did well. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> As always, I always score higher than David because he's a bit of a grinch when it comes to scoring. Um, for me, it was a definite 9. I really liked it here, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed um, our dinner here tonight. It was a really good experience back in 2019 when I came here with my family. Only, only good memories of that experience. Today I'm gonna to go away with the same good impression. I recommend it to you and I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. If you get a chance, come and eat your Tiffins. It's really, really good food. It's nice, it's different. The menu here changes seasonally, so you're never gonna find the exact same menu, which is always a positive for me as well, because they're using kind of seasonal ingredients to make creative things. There's a few staples on here that kind of do stay and they change slightly, but yeah, check out the menu, see if it's for you, give it a try your next trip. It's now five past eight. The park actually closed here at seven. There's still quite a lot of people here, which I'm surprised at. I think it'd be very empty when we came out. But we're just going to make our way through the park now and out to the bus stop. So we are now at the bus stop to go back to the Riviera. That brings us to the end of our vlog for today. There's not going to be anything exciting to show you now. Maybe us just in the pool or the spa. You don't really want to see that. You can just watch SeaWorld vlogs for that. So we've just got back to the Riviera Resort. What a great day we've had today. It's tiring all this you know so um, anyway uh, today we have taken you to Topolino Terrace for breakfast we have had a little bit of pool time we've been to Animal Kingdom which shows you how to use Genie Plus to stack those attractions again to get the rides we went to Tiffin's for dinner at Disney signature restaurant and that was really really nice really great and now we're back here at the Riviera I don't think we're doing much else now tonight I think we might just get a drink Maybe go in the pool, maybe in the spa. So that's it for today. Um, tomorrow um, we are going to be having a Disney Springs day. Uh, we've never done this before together. We've popped in and out of Disney Springs as you would have seen from dining mostly. Um, but we're gonna have a proper explore. We're gonna look in the shops, we're gonna have a look at the merch. We might make some purchases while we're there. Uh, we're going to check out some of the bars. We've got brunch booked at Raglan Road. Uh, I've not done that before, so that's going to be exciting. And then tomorrow night is our date night uh, at Monsieur Paul. So we probably won't film too much there. We might just take some photos of the food and then review it for you afterwards. Because it's a romantic night. We don't want to be vlogging on date night, do we? So uh, that's tomorrow. Anyway, 
three things to tell you. Number one, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. You wanna make sure that they can see this nonsense as well. Number two, if you like our channel, please ensure you're subscribed with the little notification bell clicked because there'll be another vlog coming out next week, which will be for us tomorrow. Um, but another vlog next week for the Disney Springs and the Monsieur Paul that I just told you about. And then number three, come on, you know, you know by now, you must know. And if you don't, there's something wrong with you. Anyway, good night and remember, never grow up.